In this video, you are going to learn the high-end skin retouching in Adobe Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do the high end skin retouching in Photoshop. For this purpose, we will be using the technique called the frequency separation. First, I will show you the step by step process of creating the frequency separation layers in order to retouch the skin and then I will show you in the end how you can do the same thing with the help of my photoshop action which you can download absolutely free for limited time from the link in the description section below so having said that let's get started so first of all you need to open your image on which you want to apply the frequency separation and let me tell you that if you have an image which has been shot with the lowest f number that is the f1.8 you may not get that much good result as if you apply this on an image which has been shot with the f7 f8 f8 or f11 or at the highest f number because in that case we get lots of texture on the skin so when you open your image in the adobe photoshop you first of all you need to create the two duplicate copy of it so which you can do by pressing ctrl j or command j twice on your keyboard and that's going to create two duplicate copies and thereafter what you have to do you have to turn off the top layer off and select the bottom layer and just rename it as low because here we'll be having our low frequency and rename the top layer as high because here we will be having the fine details or finer details so now select the low layer and thereafter just go to the filter and select blur and choose the surface blur and that would open up this dialog box and from here you need to select the radius where you don't see the fine details in the skin so for this purpose i can just adjust this radius and threshold so let's bring it back to zero and to the default position that is one and this one is the two so i'm going to gradually increase it and see where I am getting the good result increase the threshold so maybe something like this is fine and thereafter I will press the OK and thereafter I will turn on the high layer on and will go to the image and this technique works differently for 8-bit image and the 16-bit image and how would you know that your image is an 8-bit image or the 16 bit image so for that purpose you need to go to the image mode and and you will see over here the 8 bit is checked so that means your image is 8 bits and if it is 16 bits you have to follow the different option which i will show you just a minute so first of all it's an 8 bit image most of the time you will get the 8 bit image all right and then you need to come down over here on this option apply image and this would open up this dialog box so the first thing which you need to select is the layer and select this and that would open up a drop down menu and from here you need to select the low layer or the name which is the called low and then we need to select this blending option as the subtract and over here you need to put this number 2 and 128 but if you have the 16 bit image in that case you have to select this invert and you need to select the offset as 0 and only the scale as 2 and instead of subtract you need to select the add from here all right so that works only for the 16 bit image but we don't have the 16 bit image so what we will do will select the subtract and from here we'll scale it to 2 and offset 128 that is the fixed number you just need to remember this every time you have to put this number and thereafter we need to select the ok and that's going to give you this kind of a result and then you need to come over here on the layers blending option and change this layer blending option to the linear light and that's going to reveal the original image and here 
as you can see there is no difference between these two so first of all let me select both these two layers and press ctrl g to group them together and i'm going to call it as skin and if i turn off this folder and turn it on at this moment you will not see any difference because there is no difference yet we have just separated the frequency or the details from the image so here on the low layer we have the low frequency and on the high we have the high frequency that is the details or the finer details in our image and now what we need to do we will click over here and create one blank layer above it just above it and that is going to be used for the skin tones so i'm going to type skin tones and you need to select the low layer and now the main part comes so here what you can do either you need to select the lasso tool from here and select the area of the skin which you want to make the smoother and make a selection rough selection around it and then after go to the filter blur and choose the gaussian blur and you can choose the radius depending on the amount of blur you want on that skin and then press ok and then select another area go to the filter apply the same filter and select another area filter blur and gaussian blur and you can see at this moment you can see there is a problem that we have this hard edge and it doesn't look good so for that purpose what you can do let me just undo it and from here on the lasso tool at the moment the feather is 1.2 by default it must be i think zero pixel for you so what you need to do you need to just hover your mouse on the feather and click and drag it to make it around 20 or 10 or 15 or above 10 is just fine and now if i make a selection again and go to the filter and select the gaussian blur it's going to blur it out and then we don't have that fine edge over here so this is how you can do it manually by selecting the area going to the filter applying the blur and now let me show you the another way to of doing this and that is just go to the history or go back from its original position so go to the windows and select the history and we will select the history which is over here name change so we have changed the name and now we are back with our original image so now what we are supposed to do we'll click on this low layer and we will press ctrl j command j to have a duplicate copy of it and thereafter what we'll do we'll just rename it as smooth smoothing and then we'll go to the filter blur and choose the gaussian blur and that's going to apply the blur on the entire image as you can see so you can choose the radius whichever you like so maybe something like this is just fine for me and i will press ok but add the problem with this is that it has even made the sharper areas blur or the smooth which we don't want so for this purpose what we'll do we'll press alt and option and click on this layer mask icon and that's going to create a black mask over it so this layer is now completely hidden and now we'll select the brush tool from here and we'll choose the white color as foreground color and with the soft edge brush white brush we are going to paint on the skin or on the area which we want to make smooth so just paint over that area and only that area would be affected And suppose now there is certain area which you don't want that sharp or that smooth which you don't want to make that much smooth so what you can do you can either press X to just reverse that or you can just choose the opacity of the brush from here so at the moment we are painting with 100% opacity if you want you can just press F5 on your keyboard and that's going to make the opacity 50% and then you can paint on that area so that way only the 50% of this effect would be applied so now you can do this so both the method works the same way and it's up to you that which method you want to use all right and now we will work on the some removing these blemishes or these spots so for this purpose we need to come on the 
top on the high layer so let me first show you the difference between what we have achieved so far so this was the before and this is after so we have made the skin smoother so now select the high layer and choose the spot healing brush from here make sure the top one is selected not healing brush tool so select the spot healing brush tool because that works very faster and at this moment or you might not have this sample all layers so if the sample all layers is selected so just uncheck it otherwise it's not going to work so let me just show you if sample all layers is selected and if i just want to remove this spot which is over here and if i just paint over it i will get this kind of a weird result you can see so for that purpose i just need to uncheck the sample all layers from the top and then if i paint i can just remove that spot or that area so this one is very fast and works very perfectly most of the times so you can use this one spot healing brush to remove all these spots or blemishes or if there is any mole which you want to remove like on this this here just paint over that here and that's going to be removed if you want just paint it once again and you can just spend extra time to clear all these spots etc i'm not spending that much of time i'm just doing this quickly for the sake of demonstration and now we will work on the skin tone and for that purpose we have created a blank layer over it so we'll select this blank layer and choose the brush tool and we'll sample this color suppose over here we have some color cast and we want to remove this color cast so we'll press alt or option and take a sample from this area and make sure the opacity is around 10 percent and start painting on the other area which you want to remove or if you want to have the similar tone around the areas then alt and press take the sample from another area and paint over that take the sample from that area and paint there so this is how you can easily just remove that color cast from the image select this area make the size of the brush larger or smaller depending on your area where you are painting take the sample press alt and this is how you can correct the skin tones and paint in some skin tones and you can spend some extra time on it so it would take maybe 15 to half an hour or sometimes one hour depending on your image and kind of a result you want so you can see the difference by turning this on and off we have just somehow just created an even tone in the entire image so by far we have achieved this result from this to something like this so this is how you can do the skin retouching in adobe photoshop using the frequency separation technique And now I will show you how you can do this by my Photoshop action. So I will just unselect it or just delete this group entirely. Just a minute. Let me just save it and let me delete this group and its folder. And then I will go to the windows, select the actions and that going to open up the actions panel. And over here, what you need to do, you need to first download the skin photoshop action from harshwardhanar.com or the link of that is in the description section below and then you need to come over here on this hamburger menu click over there and select the load actions and that would open up your windows browser and then you need to browse the action file which you have downloaded which is looks like something like this skin harshwardhanar.atn so you just need to double click it and select the load or you can just select 
finger and select the load and that way this folder would be available over here skin Harshwadhanar and inside it there is a action which is over here so you need, just need to select this and thereafter select the play button so once you'll press the play button it's going to take a little bit time and boom the skin retouching would be applied or the frequency separation is applied and you don't need to go each and every step where you have to create a low layer and high layer go to the image apply the different settings and it only works for the 8-bit image so this action is only for the 8-bit image if your image is 16-bit just go to the image select mode and make sure you click on this 8-bit channel otherwise this action will not work or you can follow the technique which i have shown you now you need to select the skin smoothening this layer and select the mask only and choose the brush tool with white color and start painting on the area which you want to make smoother so here that's going to save you a lot more time and just paint over the area which you want to make smoother and follow all these steps which we have just discussed in the earlier one we need to select the high layer select the stamp tool or spot healing brush tool and make sure sample all layers is unchecked and start painting on the area which you want to remove so any spot or any blemishes you can just easily remove it with the help of this and then if you want to work on the skin tone just select this one and do that as well and thereafter if you want to work on doze and burn so you can doze and burn this image as well because that's going to even enhance the image enhance the details and depth of the image so this is how you can do the high end skin retouching in adobe photoshop so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and to subscribe just click the big red button below this video and don't forget to click the bell icon as well that way you will not miss any new video from this channel and if you have not followed me on instagram please do follow me on instagram you can find me on instagram with the name harshwardhan art thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you